Biomega, Biomega, Biomega is a Japanese science fiction manga written and illustrated by Sutomu Nihei. Biomega contains references to Blame, Nihei's previous work. This is a standalone storyline and does not have direct connections to his other works such as Blame, NSE and Noise though, throughout Blame, Toa Heavy Industries is mentioned several times. Topic. Plot Set in the future, the plot follows Zoichi Kano and his AI companion Fuyu Kano, whose luminous form is integrated into the system of his motorcycle. They are agents sent by Toa Heavy Industries to retrieve humans with the ability to resist and transmute the N5S infection, which is spreading across the world, turning humans into drones", disfigured, zombie-like beings. The art in Biomega is similar to that of Blame, with its complicated concrete sprawl and extremely vast, empty spaces. In this manga, there is emphasis on the swiftness of the attacks made by Zoichi, such as the gun being holstered just before the enemies fall to the ground. Speed is crucial in this manga, unlike in Blame, and the plot develops quickly. <laughs> organizations and characters <laughs> Toa Heavy Industries Toa Heavy Industries, Dongya Jonggong 2A Juko, East Asia Industries, is the main rival to the DRF. They are the creators of synthetic humans and have made it their priority to collect those who have adapted to the N5S virus before the DRF does. On February 26, 3006 AD Toa Heavy Industries headquarters self-destructs, leaving the synthetic humans on their own. Zoichi Kano is the main character of the manga. He is a synthetic human created by Toa Heavy Industries, and is on a mission to find humans that have adapted to the N5S virus. He meets Eon Green in a maximum security containment facility, in South District 17 of 9JO, where he had been dispatched. He fails to rescue Eon when she is taken by the Public Health Department. He then starts to track her down. His weapon is a rapid-fire pistol and he rides a HDC-08B3 Toa Industries motorcycle. He is also equipped with a linear accelerator rifle type 4000 XL and an axe for close combat. Fuyu Kano, Kano Fuyu Kano Fuyu is the holographic AI personality of the large black motorcycle ridden by Zoichi. She assists Zoichi with situational analysis as well as advising him on strategies. Like other artificial intelligence systems in the manga, she is pre-programmed with emotions. Nishu Mizuno, Renozu Mizuno Nishu is a female synthetic human who makes contact with Kozlov Livanovich Grebnev while she's on a mission to find Lo Grigorievic Grebnev, one of the original founders of the Data Recovery Foundation. She has similar weapons and vehicle as Zoichi. Shin Mizuno, Mizuno Shin Mizuno Shin is the male AI belonging to Nishu. Go Hinoto, Dingwu Yu Hinoto Go was killed before the beginning of the story by Higide, as depicted in the Interlink chapter. He discovered the new, less virulent pseudo N5S virus and sent his AI, Tyra Hinoto, into orbit with this information just before his death. Tyra Hinoto, Hinoto Tyra Hinoto Tyra is the female AI that belonged to the now deceased Toa Heavy Industries synthetic human Go Hinoto. 
She was sent into orbit by GO, and later fell down to Earth and was saved from DRF forces by Kozlov Livanovich Grebnev. <laughs> Data Recovery Foundation The Data Recovery Foundation, Jishu Wenhua Yichan Fu Zinkai Tuan Gijutsu Bunker Isan Fuko Zaden, Technology, Culture, and Heritage Restoration Foundation, also known as the DRF, founded in 2272 under the name Microvolt Corporation, and houses the main antagonists of the manga. They are trying to find all existing humans who have adapted to the N5S virus to use them to create their own immortals. They believe that all humans should be infected with the N5S virus, believing that it will remake some of them into the new human race and kill off the rest. They call this process the baptism. After the destruction of Toa Heavy Industries headquarters, they proclaim themselves the New World Government. Nadi Niarudi Niarudi is the overlord or matriarch of the DRF and also the second oldest person in the world. She is an esper who possesses an advanced form of psychometry which not only allows her to read the thoughts of any organic material, whether living or long since fossilized within inorganic materials, but to «download» such knowledge into herself as well as «hack» and manipulate the source of it this ability manifesting in white luminescent «worms» that extend from her body and enter the target. As a child working for Microvolt, she used this to subdue Narain when the manifestation of his psychic abilities drove him insane. While her powers did help him regain control of his mind and powers, he has been terrified of her ever since, especially when her control over her own power ironically drove her mad. Because her powers work best upon organic material she is reflexively antagonized by anything non-organic, which develops into outright misanthropic technophobia. The Guardian of the Left, Zaoduan Liguan S.A. Danrikan and the Guardian of the Right, Yuduan Liguan Yu Danrikan are two superhuman swordsmen who serve Nadi exclusively. They are cyborgs encased in jet black armor reminiscent of samurai, and carry no weapons other than high-tech katana slung over their shoulders similar to the safeguard swords seen in Blame. The Guardian of the Left is sent to kill Eon Green but is killed by Zoichi while the Guardian of the Right protects Nadi during her attack upon the PHS, where he kills Dr. Wildenstein and is later killed by Higide. <laughs> Public Health Department The Public Health Service, Gong Zhong Wei Sheng Ju Koshu Ize Kyoku, Public Sanitation Bureau, also known as the PHS, is a subsidiary of the DRF. Their headquarters is a Monadnik. The PHS later turns against the DRF due to Nadi's outrageous intentions, but is quickly overrun by DRF forces. Narain Megnard, Narain Maguna do Narain Magunado is the general Jiangjun Shogun of the PHS, originally recruited by Nadi. Fearing Nadi and her powers as well as his own mortality, he changed himself repeatedly, hoping to immunize himself against her mind reading. His current form is a huge, possibly mutated creature with several tentacles. He was the one who ordered the destruction of Toa Heavy Industry. Cardal Spindle, Kardaru Supandaru Kadaru Supandaru is a young woman that works for the PHS. 
She can cover herself in a semi-organic body suit that can be used for both offense and defense, and also possesses some form of psychokinesis. She is first seen taking Eon Green with her from the MSCF of 9JO. Zoichi later meets her in her human form and spends some time with her without knowing who she is. She appears to have some moral qualms regarding orders given her, but never questions her superiors. Higide, Higide, Higide is an extremely powerful patrol inspector working under Narain. He is highly proficient in the use of bladed weapons and combat techniques, as demonstrated when he is chosen by Narain to execute a fellow patrol inspector in a duel who was spying for Nadi, and has even succeeded in killing Toa Heavy Industries agent Go Hinoto. He has also shown impressive agility, dodging a fully charged gravitational round emission, and destroying multiple «war engines» large battle mecha with enormous destructive capability in a single battle. Dr. Wildenstein, Yuirudenshutten Boshi Warudenshutten Hakusha is a brilliant scientist working for the PHS who serves under General Nareen. Although he steals the gravitation emission weapon data from Dr. Mamura Kurakawa of Toa Heavy Industry, he is proficient in other fields, as he manages to modify the N5S virus for the PHS's use. He also learns how to create synthetic humans, and when combining the data, he learns how to use the N5S virus for battle purposes among skilled soldiers or even how to reverse its effects. <laughs> <laughs> Immortals The Immortals are humans who have adapted to the N5S virus on a genetic level has 24 pairs of chromosomes after infection, integrating it into their cell structure and giving them inhuman abilities, advanced regeneration and longevity. Called accommodators in U.S. version Ion Green, Ion Guri N. Ion Gurin, born Vif China, is a 17-year-old seemingly immortal girl who has adapted herself to the N5S virus. She is parentless and lives with Kozlov Livanovich Grebnev in her grandfather's house in South District 17 of 9JO. She has a super-regenerative healing factor. She is taken into custody by the Public Health Department, after which she rarely appears in the manga. She carries some sort of spore in her that can turn all drones back to normal humans. Reload, Raruodu Raruodo is another female immortal. She was found on Earth about 700 years before the beginning of the story, then being already 300 years old. It was discovered that she had a 24th chromosome, and from time to time her body would secrete small amounts of an unknown substance, similar to plastic. She is the woman found on Mars in the beginning of the story, and afterwards she is never seen aside from flashbacks. Others. Kozlov Livanovich Grebnev, Kozurofu Refuvichi Gurubunfu Kozurofu Refuvichi Gurubunfu is a scientist who transferred himself into the body of a bear to avoid the N5S virus. As a bear, he can walk upright, talk, and even wield weapons like a human would. He lived with Eon Green and tried to protect her when a patrol officer from the Public Health Department came to get her. He befriends both Zoichi and Nishu after an unfriendly start with both. He saves the AI, Tyra Hinoto, from falling into the hands of the DRF. Publication The original Japanese manga were collected into volumes by Shuisha. 
by omega number 01 the 19th of january 2007 isbn 9784088772103 by omega number 02 the 19th of january 2007 isbn 9784088772110 by omega number 03 the 17th of august 2007 isbn 9784088773179 by omega number 04 the 19th of february 2008 isbn 9784088774053 by omega number 05 the 19th of september 2008 isbn 9784088775173 by omega number 06 the 19th of march 2009 isbn 9784088776224 viz media began publishing by omega in english from february 2010 topic reception in a list of 10 Great Zombie Manga. Anime News Network's Jason Thompson placed Biomega in third place, calling it the greatest science fiction virus zombie manga ever. <laughs> <laughs> 